Okay, guys, we have a friend of mine who been uh, doing uh, filming with me at the Pitts Fashion Week, and then we film at the Couture Fashion Week, and then I saw you traveling all over the world to Brazil and other places. He just got a model uh, all the way from uh, Brazil who speaks Portuguese, and we're going to find out who she is. Uh, can you introduce your friend? Yeah, uh, okay, I'm Nia for the photographer, and this is my friend Jessica Leite, a Brazilian who lives in uh, Portugal and she this is her first time in New York and she's here for the fashion show okay let's find out if uh, he, I don't believe uh, let's uh, our audience to believe if she can actually spill uh, speak Portuguese can you ask her to say something in Portuguese so we can believe that she actually can talk so you, you can see you. Okay. eu falo uh, português and uh, italiano e... Quer que você fale alguma coisa, é, fala português para falar que é verdade, você fala português não? Olá! <risos> <risos> Tudo bem, meu nome é Jéssica Leite, tenho 24 anos, é, sou modelo, moro, sou brasileira, mas vivo em Lisboa. Ok, now that you prove that you can speak português, let's find out uh, who is the most famous uh, br uh, Brazilian uh, fashion designer in your mind? Who do you think is the, the best uh, uh, designer? Entendeu? Então quem é, quem é designer mais famoso brasileiro aqui, na sua opinião? Quem? Tem... Ascovitch, né? É, acho que é o... É, 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 Okay, uh, let's find out a little bit about you. Can you talk about, like, what do you do? Like, are you a lawyer, a doctor, like, are you a student? Like, what, what do you do in life? Who do, who you want to be? Então, quer falar sobre você, um pouquinho sobre você, que você é advogado, médico, ou o que você quer ser na vida, sei lá? Sim. É, eu pretendo continuar modelando, é, do desfile passar para atriz, e depois eu quero fazer prótese dentário. Me profissionalizar. Prozidentário médico? Prozidentário. Ok, she says she's a, she's a model. She would like to become, after, in the future, like a, an actress. And after, she want to be like a, a dentist? No. Yes. Uh, in the future. Wow, this is really cool. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. You have great teeth. I, I think you're going to be an amazing dentist. Uh, uh, certainly, that will work. Uh, how do you feel about... Uh, fashion comedy like uh, do you like her like usually on the runway models are, like very glamorous and beautiful how do you feel about the uh, the comedy in fashion okay falou que você vai ser bom a, é, a dentista porque dá para perceber pelos seus dentes <laughs> é, e falou que então por exemplo o que, que você acha do os desfile sobre os modelos is it comedy é comédia do é, com, comédia do, da moda que você acha desse aí i like eu gosto muito so she likes it more. Uh, would you like to meet the most famous uh, comedian model who, uh, like, when she walks, uh, she, like, can they throw up on, on a runway or she can uh, fart on a runway? Uh, like, uh, the, 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 she, can, she can do a, a variety of jokes. So, like, like usually, like, runway, the, it's, like, you know, very serious and, like, uh, glamorous. And uh, this model makes the audience, like, uh, really feel that it's, like, uh, you know, it's a time to uh, get excited and uh, have a great time. Like, uh, you know, you know, sometimes models get really, really, like, uh, kind of uh, uh, edgy and uh, like afraid of uh, on stand on the podium so they uh, in, uh, right in front of the, the uh, like photographers or well, when she walks like you know to the beat and the, the music doesn't have enough beats so she like, whoop, and parts and it gets additional beat do you know into você você gosta você gostaria de conhecer os é, famoso é, des, é, modelo comediante, por exemplo, que faz desfile de repente só tapum, ou por exemplo, é, vomitar, às vezes a música não fica muito bom, fica apertado, aí eu faço assim, vomitar, e olha, só tapum, mais ou menos. Eu prefiro aqueles que é focado na passarela, em vender o seu o look que você tá é, se entregar de verdade aquele que realmente ama o que faz e se entrega okay she said she want like a model that's very focused on what she's doing on the look and she just go 100% and giving to what forgetting about the farting or whatever <laughs> okay 
So service is very important because a runway is usually for the, like, it's a big uh, kind of, a dream for many models and they like hope oh, it's a big I'm like oh my god I'm gonna be on this podium there is it's the most important thing was since I was little little girl to grow up as a princess and uh, it's not hold a second he needs uh, what's your Instagram uh, Jessica uh, late JS oh, no, no. L-E-I-T-E -E. what about you uh, uh, her Instagram is at late J-S mine is N-I at knee fort Guys, check it out. They might have some cool pictures there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Manhattan Network uh, Neighborhood Network. And uh, what is your name? Moses. Moses is producing the fashion show here today. How many designers you got? Ten designers on the show. Ten designers on the show. Uh, how long have you been with uh, Manhattan Networks? We've been with Manhattan Networks for about two years now. You guys definitely check them out. They go with... What would you say? They <laughs> See, I'm not good with these stuff. Anyway. Um, they could definitely check out. See, I'm not good at this. I'm like a nervous. He's a little nervous. He has a lot of things on his mind. <laughs> and a lot of people moving parts, like having designers, models, makeup, hair, everybody. It's, you, your mind is uh, going crazy. I know it's going to be a busy night for you. Uh, can you name a couple of the, the, the designers that you're going to have tonight? All right, we got Paul Bolte. That's our official headline of the show. She's going to kill it tonight. Y'all got to come out. She's opening the show for us. We got Bolte. We got Paul's Hippie. We have so many designers. We have... Who else? We have Queen Queen okay. Design. No, we, we know. We're gonna, they're going to look at online and see. Uh, now let's find out who's your favorite model for tonight. Who's the headliner model? Man, headliner model. I'll say it's a bad David uh, Hang was here. David Hang is a big deal. He just got uh, in the Vogue. I saw the nice pictures there. And he David did the spring. He's one of the top models here tonight. David's definitely one of the top models here tonight. It depends on who killed the runway. Whoever killed the runway, they own it. <laughs> what is your Instagram? My Instagram is Long Live Productions. You can check out Long Live Moses on the gram. But everybody follow the team, Long Live Productions. Guys, check it out. He's pretty cool. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, man. Thanks, man. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what's your name? My name is Sue. Sue, uh, we're going to do the second take. I'm going to keep you up to speed. Sue is all the way from Germany. Believe me, she can speak German. And she's helping a designer here with like, really nice looks. We're going to see a collection tonight. Uh, and... Uh, my question to Sue right now is, she left three kids back home in Germany, and uh, she's here with us, like doing the fashion. I'm gonna find out why fashion is basically, if not more important than uh, being with the kids, but kind of how do you handle time between, like, uh, st spending time with your kids and uh, uh, traveling and uh, having fun at the runway? Oh, I'm a best ager, so my my kids are adult now. I am uh, in house in, at home as a housewife for 22 years, you and so to have time yes, to I uh, a full time mama, and now I have time to make this. And uh, my sons, I have three sons, they love my work. Excellent. Uh, what is your Instagram? My Instagram, Pandico Susanne. Thank you, guys. Check it out. She might have some cool pictures of three boys there. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sue, Sue the town. Hi. Um, so tell me your name. Hi, my name is Angel, and I'm designing for Queen Designs, my new collection. Where's the angel? Okay. So tell me about your designs. What it's, uh, what is the style, and like, um, like what ex inspired you to do the this collection? Okay, this collection is inspired by queens all over the world, mostly Central Africa and um, Western Africa, Caribbean, and like African American, but we also include Indian and like just queens all over the world. So it's very colorful, bright, and playful. So it's like um, uh, evening dresses where it's like... Yes, it's evening wear, ready to go. So I have like some regular like casual pants, but I also have gowns like that you could wear to prom or in elegant events. Yes, okay. so I have a variety. <laughs> I have a variety. <laughs> okay, and is this your first show in New York or you had it before? No, it's my first show in New York. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, how do you like New York? <laughs> it's so busy. It makes me nervous. It's so busy, but I love all the energy. I love all. Wait, yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um and just um how, how long are you going to stay here and are you planning to do more shows this season this uh, autumn, this fall? 
Oh, yes. I have um, North Carolina Fashion Week coming up. And I guess I guess that's it. I would love to do more shows in New York, though, and expand. So I am trying to expand. I'm from Philly. Um, tell me, what is your Instagram? My Instagram is at Queen Design. So it's K-W-E-E-N Designs. All one word. Just remember that. It's K-W with the queen. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. I hope you guys enjoy the show. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Cut. Uh. You're the talent. Hi. So introduce yourself. What's uh, your name? <laughs> Hi. My name is Julia Reed and I'm one of the models for Long Live Productions on the runway today. Okay. How do you like... Yeah. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> so today together. Which designer are model for? Uh, Poised. Her Instagram handle is uh, Poised Hippie, and uh, we're wearing her her felt designs. <laughs> like hot and interesting design. Look at that. Um, no, it's comfortable too. I just don't want to stop feeling myself. <laughs> How long have you been modeling? Uh, I'm actually like pretty pretty new to this, so I was I was super super lucky to like uh, uh, meet Moses and, and Jerry and, and get signed on to this. Oh, nice. So that's like your first show? Yeah, this is my first oh, runway wow. show. I mean, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see <laughs> see tonight. What? Um, how old are you? I'm uh, 21. Okay, and uh, are you first time in New York? Uh, I moved here uh, a, like two years ago for school and just got my apartment like a couple weeks ago. Oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Okay, what's... Um, uh, but like besides the modeling, what other... Like do you have any other job or do you planning to do have one? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a waitress right now at the Odeon in Tribeca and I also am an actress. Oh, nice. Okay, so what's your big uh, goal? Uh, no, I'm not union yet. Um, also, brand new acting baby, but you'll know my name soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what's your Instagram? Uh, it's at uh, 36 Julia with two L's and two A's. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck today. Thank you. <laughs> Cut. Thank you so much, guys. Where, where's you're the talent. Hi, so introduce yourself. What's uh, your name? <laughs> Hi, my name is Julia Reed and I'm one of the models for Long Live Productions on the runway today. Okay, how do you like... Yeah. Oh, I can tell. Mo so modeling so today together. <laughs> Which designer are modeling for? Uh, Poised. Her Instagram handle is uh, Poised Hippie and uh, we're wearing her, her felt designs. <laughs> like hot. And interesting design. Look at that. Um, no, it's comfortable too. I just don't want to stop feeling myself. <laughs> How long have you been modeling? Uh, I'm actually like pretty pretty new to this. So I was I was super super lucky to like uh, uh, meet Moses and, and Jerry and, and get signed on to this. Oh, nice. So that's like your first show? Yeah, this is my first oh, runway wow. show. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited to see you see tonight. What, um, how old are you? I'm uh, 21. Okay, and uh, are you first time in New York? Uh, I moved here uh, uh, like two years ago for school and just got my apartment like a couple weeks ago. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, what's... Um, uh, but like besides the modeling, what other like do you have any other job or do you planning to do have one? Yeah, I'm a I'm a waitress right now at the Odeon in Tribeca, and I also am an actress. Oh, nice. Okay, so what's your big uh, goal? Uh, no, I'm not union yet. Um, also, brand new acting baby, but you'll know my name soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what's your Instagram? Uh, it's at uh, 36 Julia with two L's and two A's. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck today. Thank you. <laughs> Cut. Thank you so much, guys. Where, Mask, what is your name? Like Midnight. 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 What is your Nicki Minaj. Oh my God. If I had a dollar for every time somebody asked me that or told me that, I would, I would be Nicki Minaj. Hi, I'm Anastasia Dior. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. We think you Nicki Minaj, right? I wish I was. Shout out to Nicki Minaj, though. Okay. <laughs> Uh, can you prove you, you're not her? Maybe you're still her. <laughs> if you see my butt, you would know I'm not her. <laughs> her butt is huge. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, which design are you going to model today? I am modeling Poised Hippie, the pants specifically. You want to get the pants? Yes, Poised Hippie. She's a lovely designer from Washington, D.C. Okay. Uh, can you talk a little bit about you? Who are you? Do you are a doctor or a lawyer? What do you do? I do have a bachelor's in childhood special education, but I did pursue modeling back in 2017. I model, I've done a couple of music videos. Um, I just recently did a music video with Rock Nation. And um, I do fashion shows, I um, host events and parties and everything like that. Yes. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's find out, like, uh, what do you like about fashion? I like the different varieties and how broad it's expanding with different type of people you know it's just not just one type of person that can wear one type of style anybody can wear it i love the new designers that are hitting the scene right now they're young you know they know what young people like and it's you know i like the different colors i like you know different places i could go to rock my fashion okay uh what is your instagram my instagram is miss underscore anastasia dior two guys check it out she might have some cool pictures there what is your name? Alexis Storm. Alexis, where are you from? Originally from Birmingham, Alabama. But yeah. I've been in New York for like two years. Do you like it here? I love it. Uh, what's back home in uh, Alabama? Family. I, uh, I only go back for family. I, I kind of hopped around the south. I spent some time in New Orleans and Florida and then here. Uh, may I ask, what do you do besides being a model? I actually teach young adults who have autism. I am an ABA instructor at a private school in Chelsea. So I do that, and I'm in school. I'm in grad school. Uh, my master's in ABA therapy. Okay. And then I model uh, during all my other time. <laughs> uh, do you think, is there a connection between your current job and helping people in the, uh, uh, and the uh, fashion runway? Um, I think that my job is, it, it caters to a population that doesn't really get a lot of attention. Um, Modeling gives you a platform, a space to uh, uh, use it as a, like a, a, a cause that you can, uh, a, 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 yes. Yeah, so I think that it's important for, for people to use their platforms to speak up. Um, I definitely am interested in using my brand to push that um, incentive um, and just educate people on special needs and um, autism awareness and all of that. Um, and that's definitely something I, I aspire to do. I actually would love to open up an autism school, but modeling is definitely one of my like strong passions. So juggling them both. It's, it's what is your Instagram? It's alex.is.storm. Guys, check it out. She might have some cool pictures there. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's find out. What's your name? Hi, my name is Shade. Shade, what do you do? I am a poet. I'm also a graphic designer, and I also write on the side. You write on the side? Yeah, like, oh. there's a separation from poetry. I do poetry, which is more like spoken word, but then I do writing, like think pieces on what's happening today, social, political, environmental news. Let's prove to the audience that you can actually uh, do uh, uh, poems. Can you say uh, like a short poem, any poem that you, uh, you wrote? A short poem that I wrote? You can be a long one. Can I get my phone? Nope. I can't get my phone. Can you one? No, I don't have one. I, I put, I put you on the spot, and it's, but you don't mem memorize it. Do you? So you write, but you don't perform them. You don't deliver them. No, if I write them, when I do perform them, I just read them over before I go on the stage, and then I mix my graphic design with my poetry by putting out content. So I have graphic pictures that go alongside with my poetry, and what it's talking about. Like for example, I did a poetry, at, a poem after Nipsey Hussle was assassinated, and so I rehearsed it, and then I performed it at um, my school. Which designer are you wearing today? The designer I'm wearing today is Poised. She's on Instagram. This is her little bullet that she made. Yes, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Okay, what is your Instagram? My Instagram is at drippingmelanin underscore D-R-I-P-P-I-N-G M-E-L-A-I-N underscore. Guys, check it out. She has some cool pictures there. Thank you. Thank you. Ask, what is your name? Callie Marie. Callie, yes. since you asked not to ask you about designers, I'm definitely not going to ask you. 
<laughs> so let's find out who you are. Well, my name is Callie. I'm 22 years old. As far as the designer, I am not too sure because I literally walked in and she told me to take I'm not going to ask you oh, about that. I'm sorry. Like, um, that, like we get that question out of the way, so we're not going to talk about designer. Who are you? Who are you as a person? Like, do you, are you a doctor, a lawyer? What do you do? No, I'm actually a model and a cosmetologist, so I do hair and eyelash extensions. That's amazing. Uh, what is your favorite designer uh, to wear? I love Moschino. Are you familiar with Moschino? I love his, his designs. I love his everything. He's different. He's bold. He's out of the ordinary. You don't see anyone like him. And I feel like that's, that's what I need to be in all the time. Uh, usually models are very skinny like you and very slim. Uh, and it happens, uh, many models are stri striking, starving financially and have like a lot of you know difficulties like making money and the, like a sustaining expensive lifestyle uh, that New York requires in some as professional fashion is expensive right uh, so look what happens like uh, sometimes I go to on a runway and I see models walking right and they are so much stressed they don't eat they don't drink and they fall over the runway uh, what happens why, why you guys don't drink I can't relate to that. I drink and eat and I, I'm very healthy. But um, the only reason why I can see that happening is under pressure. You know, a lot of the backstage is based off rushing. So there's times where you don't get a chance to eat or drink. But luckily, I haven't experienced that. And I feel sorry for whoever. But it is really busy backstage. And, you know, that's kind of why they do call time a little hours ahead. So you can have time to do you. But... Yeah. Uh, fa fashion has uh, different aspects uh, of it. It uh, has a beauty uh, part, like it has to be beautiful, right? It has a, hey guys, it uh, has a, a lot of uh, to do with uh, the, uh, like a sound, it has to be like really good music and stuff, uh -huh. and also a really important smell, like uh, how people smell. So it's another sense. Uh, sometimes the models walk on the runway, and they are so nervous, and they fart, uh, uh, like and the audience kind of ah, and it feels it's like <laughs> not, not happening. Like, well, 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 why is that? I, again, I can't relate to that. I don't fight on the runway. I just feel like you're on the runway for literally five to eight seconds. It's kind of like what are you doing if you're farting? But again, a lot of people crack under pressure, so they might crack back back there. So. I, I tried to prank you, and you definitely didn't go for my pranks. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I think you still have ability to kind of sustain yourself under pressure, and uh, like when even very uh, weird and uh, kind of bizarre questions <laughs> come your way. Uh, what is your Instagram? My Instagram is underscore Cali dot dreams. Guys, check it out. She might have some cool pictures there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, David is quite famous, as you can, as you probably know. He got the Vogue recently. He is doing all the top uh, folks at uh, the Spring Studios. Can you talk a little bit about you as a person, as a career? Uh, scouted at 50, and uh, so I'm about two and a half years in. I'm 53 now, and um, I'm uh, having a great season so far. <laughs> it's been a good season, definitely. Yeah. What the future holds for you? Like, what do you, where, where do you think this will take you? Well, um, for a while, I, I would love to get into acting, but I would also like to just try and take the modeling thing outside of the U.S. Uh, I've been to Milan. But I want to really expand on that, get into a lot of Spanish-speaking countries, Paris, London, all that stuff, because uh, I don't think America's into this face. I think that uh, usually fashion story been told by photographers and videographers from the perspective on a riser. Uh, if you saw my show, I I use the mouse grip. I have little GoPro cameras, and I, my models walk with the cameras, so they film it from the perspective as a model. Uh, so the like you, you go to hunting, and you see the hunt from the position as a hunter. But in my fashion, it's like I, I show the it's the show from the vision eyes of the model. Uh, uh, like uh, you being a model, being a, a guy. Uh, how do you uh, perceive this uh, fashion uh, lifestyle? The whole lifestyle? 
Well, you know, it's kind of rock and roll. Um, I love that. Um, and, you know, but also I think for women, it's a lot more of a lifestyle than men. You know, most people can't name male models, male supermodels. Tyson Beckford is probably the only one anyone ever thinks of. Uh, but there are lots and lots, uh, lots and lots of men uh, making a living in the business. I don't necessarily know that it's uh, destined to be my main line in the future. If that happens, I'm absolutely open to it. But there that's a lot of brands that uh, require a male a model. Like if you want to sell uh, uh, liquor, if you want to sell uh, um, uh, tobacco, there are items that even cars, like uh, it, women are, have power and they look not only at other girls as a rivalry, but they when they look a hot looking guy, like they kind of have uh, a trust to it. Like if you model as a bank director, you model like a, like a serious, like a, like a billionaire uh, uh, like a, a type, hey man, uh, they... they really need a male model uh, like to follow as an example uh, they do but they have to go somewhere else I'm a fashion and fashion model only so I don't do that banking stuff I don't do investment pharma none of that but it's all I think together like just because it's a fashion it can still sell pharma it can still sell banks so they still need a male models that look uh, fashionable and uh, cool the even the big banks wants to look fashionable and the pharma companies also kind of pay attention to fashion without fashion they wouldn't be able to move their drugs indeed and they're depicted as being fashionable sometimes but it's just not my lane I'm I'm really here for fashion and luxury that's it um, you know just yeah pharma's not my thing <laughs> how do you feel about uh, fashion comedy like a uh, fashion pranks like uh, uh, usually during fashion we do like a more like a glamorous look more beauty look and uh, uh, sometimes it makes sense to bring a little bit of humor and the pranks uh, to the fashion I don't know about the pranks I'm more uh, I'm more inclined just not to take myself too seriously or anything for that matter. So, you know, that's how I kind of keep it real and keep a, a human perspective on everything. Um, because, you know. They, What do you do to engage the audience? Every time you walk the runway, they go crazy for you. Like, is there a particular secret that, uh, like, are there are other guys who have beard, there are other guys of your age, but they have not a stigma that, uh, that you bring to the table? Well, thank you for saying that, first of all. But uh, I don't know. I just get out and do what I do, you know. It's, uh, it's an incredibly liberating and free feeling when you step out on that runway and all these people are looking at you and you have a thousand cameras and lights aimed at you at the other end. I know, yeah, you're blind anyway, but... But, you know, it's it's just about feeling the energy and, and giving folks what they want to see. Okay. Uh, what is your Instagram? Mr. David Hand. And you have to spell out Mr. M-I-S-T-E-R. David Hand. Guys, check it out. He's pretty cool. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, I'm Janae Brown. Janae, what is your name of your collection? Gomer Azdabar. Can you talk a little bit about your designs? So my designs come from a lot of different patterns that where we use uh, silk scarves to um, create our new line. And basically our line is here to educate the masses. Basically, when you research the name of my line, G-O-M-E-R, Oz, O-Z, Dubar, D. UBAR, you will learn a little bit more about our um, line, which stands for um, Wisdom, Beauty and Strength. Uh, how many items do you think you're gonna sell tonight? Tonight, I'm gonna sell them all. <laughs> gonna sell them all. Uh, can you talk? Uh, who is your favorite inspiration as a designer? I've been inspired by Manolo Rose. He's a intellectual rapper, and he has inspired me beyond belief. How do you feel about uh, fashion comedy? Usually, the models look like very glamorous and like beautiful, but sometimes it's nice to have fun. Of course, everybody loves to have fun, no matter what you're doing. Have fun doing it. What kind of runway walk uh, models will do for you? Uh, usually uh, there is like for tight dresses, they do like a mermaid walk, like very small steps. And like there is a bouncy walk when the models like go up and down. There is like if the garment is really big, they take like a big step. So, so to move the garment. Uh, how do you feel about chicken walk? The chicken like, walk. Uh, Show me the chicken walk. Like it, ch no. In 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 Spain, they have the like a, a chick walk. You know, chick like a, a girly girl uh, walk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your Instagram? I am Nay Brown. Guys, check it out. She might have some cool pictures there. Thank you. Bye. Good job. Thank you.